Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well yesterday we sort of put together this little one page scrolling site here from a page we built with elements on a page we built. I've had a few questions but some people ask me how did I make this slider at the top? Well it's just a basic slideshow with a call to action button but it's really simple to make and you can make this with the free version and the pro version. Um, you can download both the free and the pro version of Elementor from my affiliate link below this video if you want to check it out. So let's do this. It's really easy. I'll go to a page that hasn't got it on. Hopefully. Okay, here we go. Here's a page. It hasn't got it on. I've got Elementor loaded already. Um, all I'm going to do is add a new section at the top. To do that, just hit the little blue section button right here. Just left click on it and add a new section. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the content first. In other words, the little title and the call to action button. You can add any element you want here or combinations of element because the slideshow is going to be going on behind them. Uh, so I'll just put in a heading, which is pretty much what I did for the last one. Okay, um, I'm going to style that. I'm going to capitalize it. I'm going to make it white. It'll actually disappear when I do that because there's a white background. Well, sort of gray background. That's fine. And I'm going to make it uppercase. Transform uppercase for capitals. And I want to plop it in the middle. I'll do that right on this first tab again, the content tab. Just hit the middle align there. That's fine. Now I want to go back and add a little button underneath there. So I'm going to go to a little grid up here, back to the modules. And again, these are all free. These are the free versions right here. I'm going to add a button. Simply drag it over and drop it underneath my title there. And let's style our button here. Okay, let's say um, more information. Or whatever it is you want to stay, say with your button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's try and spell it right. When I talk and code, things go wrong. Okay, and the button I want it in the middle. You've got left, middle, right, and you can also have it full width by having it justified. I don't want that today, but it's a handy little option. I'm just going to have it in the middle there. Design, of course, you can change the color. Let's say the text color, I'm going to leave as it is. I will make it uppercase though, I think, type, typography. Transform, uppercase again, that's fine. It just makes it stand out a little bit for me. Text color is fine as it is. Background color for normal, let's have it red for normal. And then on the hover, when it hovers, when you hover over it, let's make it change to green. So I'll just use that green right there. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to do. Now we want to get our actual slider itself going. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go up to our section tab right here again. So it says edit section up here. Now I want it to be full width, so I need to stretch the section Put that on it's now full width with everything in it i want to be boxed still which is boxed is stop starts there and stops there which is fine now we just need to add a background and the options are color gradient video or slideshow and slideshow if you just put one slide in obviously it's just an image background but we'll, we'll throw in a few images click that and just add the images you want to add here I guess I'll do some dark ones. That one, that one, and that one. Once we got them selected, simply hit create a new gallery. There it is. You can move these around however you want if you've got a bunch of them. I'm going to say insert gallery. And there it is at the top there. You can't see much of it at the moment because it's kind of squashed up, but we'll change that in one second. And duration. 5,000 milliseconds, they're changing every five seconds. Let's make that every seven seconds, 7,000. 
and you can have a fade you can have a slide to the right to wait seven seconds now for it to do it there we go or slide left slide up slide down I'm gonna leave mine to fade I quite like that transition duration is how long it takes to fade half a second I think that's pretty much okay with me Let's make it a second thousand milliseconds which is a, a second that's great and now all I need to do is add some padding top and bottom so we can see as much of this as we want to see so if we go to our advanced tab go down to padding here I'm going to uncheck the chain because I just want to do top and bottom and let's say 300 top maybe too much and 300 bottom not 3000 300 there we go that's that's fine I kind of want to make that a little bit bigger and also can't quite read it so let's use a background overlay we go back to our style we've got background overlay just under where we put in our slides here I'm going to click on the background overlay and I'm not going to mess with normal hover I'm just going to give it a, a color I'm going to make it black which it is by default that looks pretty much fine for me like I say this is a simple slider there's no controls or arrows but it works great and like I say you can put everything in there with your call to action or what have you let's just make that a little bit bigger style typography I'm going to slide that up there we are it's a bit more sort of in your face there let's update that and take a look and there you have it we'll have to wait seven seconds and it should fade to the next one and take a second to fade and that's pretty effective that's a nice little hero section with a call to action like I say it's not a, a proper sort of hero carousel because you've usually got different things on different slides we'll do that in another video but for a simple slider with a call to action button that works really well so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget you can download the pro or the free version from my affiliate link below this video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.